Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so I know it looks like I've been wearing this blouse for like all week. <laughs> That's because I'm recording all my videos in one day so that I can go on vacation but still be able to upload good content for all my beautiful subscribers out there. I did not want to leave you guys hanging without anything to watch while I was gone. So um, you're just going to have to keep looking at this blouse. I am I thought, well, you know, I could go grab another blouse and throw it on for each video. but. Eh, that's kind of fake and I don't want to do that. I'm just, I am me and it's still the same day. It's Saturday. I'm just recording back to back videos for you guys. So, okay, so this video is going to be about things that I've learned being a small YouTuber, okay? Um, I know there's a lot of people out there that are trying to get their channel started and I'm thinking that some of this can help them in some way. Um, or it can just prevent them from making some of the same mistakes that I made in the beginning. Um, these are just little things that I picked up so far. I know I'm just now beginning my journey. I've only been doing this, um, what, about 10 months. Um, I think my year is coming up in a couple months in September or October. I'll have to look. I think it's the end of September, 1st of October, somewhere around there when I started my channel. So my year anniversary is coming up. Yay! But yeah, I mean, you pick up things. That, you know, you learn things from other YouTubers. You watch um, other channels. And um, I just wrote down a few little things. So I'm going to read a couple of them and um, just kind of explain to you guys just some of the things that I've learned being a small YouTuber. Okay, so number one and first and foremost, I think this is very important for many people to understand that sub for sub is good only if they really like your channel and if you like theirs. If both sides watch and interact with each other, having other small YouTubers as friends can be beneficial. You can learn from each other and grow together but the overall sub for sub is not good. It's not good for your channel or YouTube because if you only have YouTubers subbing to you, you're not getting the vast majority of an audience that are not YouTubers to watch you. You want to let everyone outside of YouTube land know what you're doing and so that you can help them to either apply makeup better or to not spend their money on certain products because they're not that great or to spend their money on certain products because they are that great. You know, you want to give helpful tips and hints to people, let them know a different way than what they're doing it. People that are everyday people that are actually going to listen to you and do um, things that you suggest or, you know, buy what you like and that kind of thing. Um, other YouTubers may not do that because they have their own style, their own way of doing it. They're not necessarily going to watch your channel or make comments on there to help you or to help, you know, them personally. They will only comment on your stuff nine times out of ten to promote themselves. I get a lot of spam all the time in my comment section or hey crystal come check out my channel or hey crystal i love your channel but hey check out my channel it's great too you know or here's a link come check it out subscribe to my channel you know and all this kind of stuff and it it doesn't bother me when people do that or hey it, you sub to me and i'll sub back you know but i've done this in the beginning i went and i subbed to a bunch of people that were telling me this and then they never subbed back to me or they would sub back to me and then unsub later i don't like that that's very unprofessional if i sub to you it's because i enjoy your channel it's because i love your content it's not because i'm trying to promote myself and if you are going to go make comments on other YouTube videos to promote yourself, you always want to be sincere and genuine and you want to leave a comment that's really geared toward that YouTuber, not towards you. And you can kind of word it to where you're like, for example, if I watch a video and someone does a really nice smoky eye, I will go on there and say, oh my gosh, I love the smoky eye look that you just did. Um, I wish I could do a smoky eye like that. Maybe one day on my channel I can do that as well. I'll keep your tips handy so that I can keep practicing to be better on my channel. So you're giving them theirs 
but you're also doing a little tiny plug for your channel or letting people know that you have a channel so if they read your comment they'll click on your picture because you've made a genuine comment you're sincere about it and then they click on your picture and they go to your channel and if they like it they subscribe it's that simple there's really you know this sub for sub thing really does not work in general I mean it can work if, like I said, you really like their content and you really do watch and interact with their community. You can kind of bring your communities together in, in a way. That's what collab videos are for as well. So I think a collaboration video would be better than a sub for sub type deal. Okay, so moving on. Um, it's not always about makeup. Sometimes it's about just feeling good about yourself and wanting to help others. When I first started my channel, I had one thing and one thing in my mind only, and I still, that is my main objective, and that is to help other women feel and look beautiful. No matter what size you are, no matter how tall or how short, no matter what color skin you have, no matter what kind of hair you have, None of that matters. It's what you feel on the inside. And I want to be the one to help you know that regardless of all the things um, that may hinder you, you're still beautiful. And you can help yourself to look and feel even more beautiful just by tweaking certain ways you do things. Um, you know, applying makeup a different way or trying out a new color. No matter what it is, if it helps you feel and look beautiful then that's what you do that's what you stick with and that is my goal for my channel to help every one of you out <sighs> okay sorry my battery died i've been recording all day okay so anyway that is my goal is to help each one of you know that you're beautiful and help you feel and look that way it's simple as that okay so moving on um Another thing that I learned is that you don't have to have expensive camera, lighting, etc. to start a channel. If you want to start a channel, you can do it with, if you have a phone, either an Android or an iPhone, you can do it with your phone. They have very good cameras nowadays. They flip forward and backwards. You have a flash on here um, for video recording. There's apps that you can download for the iPhone. I downloaded this one. It was called Pro Camera, and you can pause it. Um, you can zoom in and zoom out with it it does all kinds of things uh, they even have apps that have filters on there if you need a filter or whatever I don't use filters but others do so if you wanted to do that you could certainly make that work for you you don't need a ring light uh, but if you wanted something that gives more light such as a ring light because they're hundreds of dollars a lot of people don't have that kind of money I know I didn't but um, you can make your own go on YouTube and look up videos for DIY ring lights very inexpensive you know you can make one for like 20 bucks and there you go you have a ring light or you can just go to the store and get a couple of little floodlights and put some um what are those uh, fluorescent bulbs in there that are a natural daylight just make sure you get the daylight type of lights the ones that show bright white not um not the ones that show um the soft light or whatever you need the daylight I think it's 500 5,000 lumens is what you need to make it um, make a good quality lighted video. So, um, and then what else? You don't need like um, box lighting or any of that kind of stuff. You don't even need a backdrop as long as you have a plain wall you can record on. That's fine. You can even purchase like a shower curtain. Seriously, they have just the regular shower curtains, the solid ones with the material, or a regular curtain or a sheet that has a nice design on it. You can purchase those for relatively inexpensive. You know, it's not that expensive. You can go to the dollar store and get something and hang it up behind you. Um, there's just different ways you can do it. When I first started my channel, oh my goodness, I used my iPhone. And I have a um, selfie stick, you know, the selfie sticks that you can buy. Okay, I have one of those, and I have a little lipstick um, organizer on my vanity. And the selfie stick handle fit right down into the one of the lipstick. Um, so I centered it in the middle, and I had lipsticks around to kind of weight it, you know, so it's not... Um, um, gonna fall over or anything and I would stick the selfie stick down into one of the center holes in the lipstick organizer and then I would put my camera on the selfie stick and, and plug it in 
and that's how I recorded and I would just move that wherever I needed it and that was my stand for my that was my camera that was what I used and the lighting that I had is what's on my um, vanity mirror so it's just regular um, LED lighting that I bought online for like three bucks and it's like a self stick strip and you just and I stuck it on my mirror all the way around my mirror and that's what I used for the longest time heck almost six months into my uh, YouTubing I was using my phone and that LED lighting so you can do it it can be done because I've done it um, so yeah I mean it's not that hard it doesn't take a lot of money and you can work your way up like I have now I have a Canon uh, TI-5 I think or T5i that's what it is see I don't even know a Canon T5i um, it has a little flip out screen and autofocus and all that good stuff I have a Rode uh, microphone that sits on top of my camera now for a good quality sound and then I have a, a diva ring light so you know I've worked my way up to those things so I've, I've saved my money and bought it little by little and that's what you can do you don't have to have a lot of money to start it don't wait until you have all the expensive things to get it started because you'll never get it started open your camera and start recording that's how you get a YouTube channel okay alright so um, Number four, as you grow in YouTube, you realize that there are a lot of hateful people in this world. Um, when you're little like I am, you really don't see all that hate. And you really don't see all the, the nasty comments being made or, you know, any, anything like derogatory remarks or, or anything like that. You don't see a lot of that on your channel or in your comments because you're still small and everyone's watching you and they love you. As you grow, okay, because I've seen it happen to a friend of mine, as she grew, she has like, I don't know, three or four million subscribers now. But as she grew, um, she started getting a lot of hate. You know, once you hit, I think, I think she hit about 100, 150,000 subscribers, and people started being very ugly to her and making comments about her nose and her hairline and... Um, her teeth, I mean, anything that they could think of to really poke at her, they would. If she didn't do her eyebrows exactly right or one was lower or whatever, they would they would harp on those things. And she had these, what I call, internet trolls come to her channel daily just to beat her down. It was disgusting. And people like that need to be slapped, okay? But they're out there, and um, if you're one of them, change your ways because that's not right but you're gonna have hate my point is you're gonna have haters and that's when you know you really hit it big when you have haters okay I don't have haters yet um, but I'm sure I'm gonna get there I'm sure somebody's gonna make fun of my accent or fun of my hair or fun of my nose my mouth the way I talk the way I move whatever my fat you know hey I'm fat and they're gonna make fun of that do you think I care nope do you know why I don't care? Because they don't finance me, and they don't pay my bills, and they're not laying in bed with me at night. So if they're not doing any of those three things, then I don't, I don't give a crap about what they want or what they say or what they do. They're not going to make or break me. I am going to make me, okay? And only I can do that. They can't. So just keep your head held high, chin above water, and keep on doing what you're doing, and don't let the haters get you down because they're not worth it they're totally not worth it so okay um, moving on <sighs> I already touched on this a little bit things can be expensive in the YouTube land but you can do a YouTube channel on a budget I'm doing it I'm a perfect example of that I don't have a lot of money I you know I don't there's one income I have one income and I have a, a job that I work you know 40 to 60 hours a week at um, I don't make a buku lot of money, but I make decent money. Um, I budget, you know, and I spend my money as wisely as I can. Like the uh, um, Jaclyn Hill palette that just came out. When it first launched, I could only afford to get one. I wanted to get two and do a giveaway, but I couldn't afford it at the time. So I bought the one to try it out and do a couple of videos with it and now I've got the money saved up for another one but they keep selling out before I can get it but eventually I will get it and I'll have another I'll have a little giveaway with one 
but you can do it. You just budget and you just save your money until you get enough to buy products to do reviews with. Also, you can do like subscription boxes. I did uh, birch boxes in the beginning, $10 a month. Um, there was already another YouTuber doing Ipsy. So I said, well, I'm going to do a birch box because it's a little different, you know, something different than what other people were doing. So I did birch boxes for a while and, um, you know, you can do that. You can do Ipsy, birch box. Um, there is a perfume one called Songbird. It's a little more expensive, but you know, I think it's $20 a month. And then they have the Morphe brush one. You can do brushes. You can, you can do these little subscriptions, Vox Box. You can do, um, what's the other one? There's so many out there, you guys, that you can just really, um, do a subscription box and that's a video at least once a month and then to try you can do the opening unboxing of it so that's one video and then you can do a review of the products so that's another video and then you can do a look with the products that's another video so you get three videos a month essentially from one ipsy bag or one birch box depending on the products that are in there just you know think of different things to do you can do videos that doesn't cost money just using what you already have you know like if you have a couple of small palettes or whatever use those to do different eye looks with do tutorials you can do reviews uh, on those products that you already have um, you can do like when you uh, use products and you throw them away products that you're already buying anyway and you throw them away keep the empty packages and do an empties video you can do your favorites and fails, your top five, top ten, whatever. Um, you can do tips and tricks to make foundation uh, go on smoothly or, you know, there's all kinds of stuff out there that you can just do videos on that aren't going to cost you an arm and a leg. You can do drugstore products that, you know, wet and wild, they're relatively inexpensive. Elf, you can do, you know, videos on those kinds of things until you can get the money to do the higher end makeups. You don't have to do all Sephora and, and all, you know, Anastasia Beverly Hills or uh, all Smashbox or all, um, my mind went blank, but Tarte. Um, Urban Decay. You don't have to do all those kinds of um, expensive things if you don't have the money. Save your money, buy one expensive thing, and then use inexpensive things for the rest of the time. So there are ways to do it. You don't have to have a million dollars to do a YouTube channel, trust me, because I don't. Um, also, when you're, um, I know you see all these YouTubers that have their nails done, they're always looking so glamorous, but it really doesn't take a lot of money to do that. You can do it on a dime. Trust me, I've been there. I even have a little series called Diva on a Dime. And I quit doing it because I wasn't really getting a lot of hits in the beginning on it. But I might bring it back now that I have more subscribers and just, you know, try to show you different ways to save money and to do uh, your nails and stuff like that. These nails cost me a dollar, you guys. A dollar for these nails right here. A dollar. That was it, okay? So you can do everything on the cheaper end. Okay, so um, also I've learned that YouTube is a great way to express yourself, whether it be your personal opinions and beliefs, whether it be your makeup and your face and your hair and how you uh, pull a look together. You can really express yourself in all different ways on YouTube. It is an outlet for you to do that with. It is the the best one that I've found so far to where you can really talk uninterrupted and um, get your point across and have people listen to you. So if you're going to start YouTube, my advice would be to just start it. Um, watch other videos of YouTubers and what they do. Ask questions. Get advice from other YouTubers. Do collaborations with smaller YouTubers until you work your way up. Um, you can also, there's a couple of guys that have videos on here that give you tips and tricks on how to boost your subscriber or your um, view count so you get more subscribers. Different ways to tag your videos and to rank them in the SEO, which is the search engine um, operations or whatever for YouTube. So you want to make sure that you go in and you watch those videos. I watch them all the time. It gives me lots of um, ways to improve my channel. Just deliver good content and be consistent. You know, if you're going to put out one video a week, put out that one video a week and make it the best video that you can make it. You know, just be consistent and always be sincere. 
if you're going to start a YouTube to try to earn money, you're never going to make it because that's not what it's about. When you start a YouTube, it should be something that you love, that you feel in your heart. It's a passion. You have a thirst for that, or whatever it is that you're doing your YouTube on, whether it be cooking or fashion or makeup, whatever. Make sure you have a grand passion for that, like I do with the fashion and the makeup. That is, it's, you know, it's... It's what I love. I love to get dressed up. I love to do my hair, my nails, my makeup, and clothes, and match everything, and, and just be like, mm, put together. You know, be a put together person. That is, that is me. That's what I love. And I love to help others feel and look that way. So that's why I started my YouTube. But it doesn't have to be what you start yours for. So if you want to, you know, get on YouTube and you want to do a channel and you just didn't know where to start, there you go. I've given you lots of tips and tricks to get you on your way. So I wish you all the best and I hope that if you do decide to go ahead and jump on in there and get your channel started, um, I hope that it succeeds and you get insurmountable amount of subscribers and love from YouTube and have a great community and it's a wonderful experience for you. That's what I want for you if if that's what you want for you. So, and if you do end up starting a channel and you watch this video, come back and leave me a comment down below and let me know how it's doing and I'll subscribe to you. I'll watch you. I'll help you. I'll give you um, whatever tips that I can coming from my perspective as a very small YouTuber. Um, but I think that I can help in some ways get you started and help you out. So if that's something you want to do, definitely do it. Just just do it, okay? <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Be good to yourself and each other.